Hello, in this video we are going to add styles and labels to our points. In previous videos we have digitized vectors. It is important to organize the layers panel in such a way that you have uh, the points, lines and polygons first, and then your raster layers. If you put your raster layers on top, you cannot see your vectors anymore. Unless you have something like blending switched on, like in this case. But that's not the appropriate way. So if blending mode is back to normal, we can't see our vectors below. So make sure that the rasters are below, in this case the topographical map. Now let's change the style of our peaks. It now has a random simple marker color. And we change the simple marker now to SVG marker. QGIS comes with a lot of SVG figures. We can also add our own. Go to the symbol folder. There you find these uh, markers, and we use a red marker, because blue is associated with water. So for peaks it's better to use these uh, red pins. Let's increase the size so they're also visible. Now we can clearly see them on the map. Now let's add a label. Go to the Label tab in the Layer Styling panel, and switch from No Labels to Single Labels. You can add a single field name there, so here we use name, and we see it not very clear printed on the map, so let's improve this. We also would like to see the elevation of the peaks. So in double quotes you always have the field names. Those two vertical lines are used to concatenate something, strings, and this slash n button is for adding a new line. So I'm having the name field, a new line, and then I select from fields and values elevation to have the elevation value. In the preview we can see it printed. But I also want the units, so I add again two lines to concatenate, and then in single quotes I can add any text string. So I use a space and then meters, and in the preview that looks great. If I click OK I also see it appearing here on the map. The style however is not very readable, so let's improve that a bit. Let's change uh, the font. QGIS comes with many uh, fonts. And choose one that uh, matches your style and that is readable. You can change also to uh, bold or italic. Here I use bold. You can also change the font size. By drawing a text buffer, the text also gets more readable. And you can also change the placement. So now it uses a cartographic mode. I can change the distance to the point. I can also choose different modes, like a round point. Finally, there are some uh, placement engine settings. If I uncheck this box, we can uh, not allow truncated labels on edges of the map, so we always have complete labels. So in this video you've learned how to style and label points. Thank you. 